According to CBS News, U.S. life expectancy estimates have fallen to the worst levels since 1996, according to a new federal report, marking the second straight year of plummeting estimates in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The recent report on health disparities impacting life expectancy in the United States has shed light on the significant gap of more than 20 years based on race and ethnicity. This alarming disparity highlights the deep-rooted systemic issues within the healthcare system that perpetuate unequal access to quality care and ultimately result in stark differences in life expectancy. One of the key contributing to the disparity in life expectancy is socioeconomic status. Data from the report shows that individuals from marginalized communities, including Black, Hispanic, and other populations, are more likely to experience poverty, lack of educational opportunities, and limited healthcare services. These determinants of health have a profound impact on individuals' ability to lead healthy lives and ultimately contribute to premature mortality rates. Moreover, systemic racism and discrimination within the healthcare system also play a significant role in perpetuating health disparities. Studies have shown that individuals from minority communities are more likely to receive lower quality care, experience longer wait times, and face implicit biases from healthcare providers. These factors contribute to poorer health outcomes and lower life expectancies among marginalized populations. The implications of these disparities on public health are profound. Not only do they result in unnecessary suffering and premature deaths, but they also place a significant strain on the healthcare system. Health disparities lead to higher healthcare costs, increased rates of chronic diseases, and lower productivity, ultimately impacting the overall well being of society. Not having universal healthcare contributes to these higher healthcare costs. Wouldn't it be better to use the higher costs to provide universal health care? This also means that we need to address these inequalities and promote health equity in the country. Policymakers must take proactive measures to dismantle systemic barriers and create a more inclusive and equitable health care system. This includes investing in underserved communities, increasing access to affordable health care services, and addressing implicit biases within the health care workforce. One recommendation for addressing health disparities is to prioritize preventive care and early intervention strategies. By focusing on promoting healthy behaviors and addressing underlying social determinants of health, policymakers can help to mitigate the impact of systemic inequalities and improve health outcomes for all individuals. In addition, restricting toxic chemical applications to our food sources and eliminating many additives to our food as other countries have already done. Additionally, healthcare providers must undergo cultural competency training and education to better understand the unique needs and challenges faced by minority populations. By fostering a more inclusive and culturally competent healthcare workforce, we can ensure that all individuals receive the quality care they deserve, regardless of their race or ethnicity. This report on health disparities impacting life expectancy in the United States serves as a wake up call to the urgent need for action. By acknowledging the root causes of these disparities, implementing targeted interventions, and advocating for policy changes, we can work towards creating a more equitable and just healthcare system that prioritizes the well being of all individuals. It is essential that we come together as a society to address these deep seated inequalities and pave the way for a healthier and more equitable future for all. Organic and pasture raised foods will have less exposure to toxic substances. Our book How the Food Industry is Killing Us is free at your library.